Today I've got two subscription boxes I'm gonna do in one video. Both of these came from the company Bambox. So let's go ahead, let's start cracking. So both of these boxes cost $35. This one is the July 2019 Bam Box Horror Box. Then this one is the July 2019 Bam Box Pop Culture Box. And the box can be a little bit, uh, a little bit xylophone, you know what I'm saying? Or accordion, I should say. A little bit accordion. So hopefully nothing in is damaged, but we'll find out. So let's actually, let's go ahead, let's do the damaged box first, just to see how bad the contents might be damaged, because I'm kind of concerned. But I've had these things, honestly, for a few weeks, and I've just been backed up on recording content, so I'm just getting around to opening these things up now. I fear I do them both in the same video, just because, why not? Let's do a double treat kind of video. Like I said, each one of these boxes is $35, and Bam Box is a, is a subscription box. You can start anytime you want, and anytime you want. Oh yeah, this one has the same Funko Pop in. I forgot about that. <laughs> totally forgot. We got brown paper on top. I'll pull each item out one at a time and see if this is worth what I paid for it. So, first item in the pop culture box. We have some kind of a necklace. I don't know what this is. Uh, I'm drawing a, I'm drawing a blank. I obviously have never seen this movie or must be a movie that I just don't remember. So let's just wear it until I remember, I guess. So next is the monthly pin. Oh, that's the guy who played Freddie Mercury. Right? Yeah. I'm not sure what his name is, but yeah, that's the guy who played Freddie Mercury in the Bohemian Rhapsody movie. That's kind of cool. At least, at least it looks just like him, I should say. It looks like the guy who played Freddie Mercury. If it's him, I'm not sure. Here's a Funko Pop. We'll do the Funko Pop at very, very last. Let's set it down for a second. Oh, cool. One up, congratulations. You got a one up card. You have an upgraded or limited edition item in your box. Ooh, that's exciting. I'm not sure which one it is. But here we've got an art print. Oh, there's the cheat sheet. Put that back down. There's the art print for this month. Oh, Godzilla. Okay, that's Godzilla. This is signed by the artist number 250 out of 500. We got Godzilla. Certificate of Authenticity, the, this art print from our fan art collection titled uh, Godzilla has been hand signed by artist Jeffrey Boraz for the band Pop Culture Box. That's neat. That's a cool, cool art piece. So I'm not sure. That might be the upgrade. We'll find out at the very end. Here we go. Here is the autographed Funko Pop in this month's Pop Culture Box. Who do we got? Okay, there's the back of it. Big reveal. Pedro from Shazam. I have never seen the Shazam movie and I haven't read the Shazam comic or comics for a long, 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 long time. If I think I've, I think I've, I read like one comic when I was, when I was a kid. So I do not even know who this character is. Honestly, I, I, I don't know. On the top it has the certificate of authenticity. And then here is the BAM sticker on the side. This Funko Pop has been hand signed by Joven Ar Armand, who plays Pedro in Shazam. It was signed during a private signing for the BAM pop culture box and guaranteed to be authentic. Yeah, I don't recognize the voice or the actor's face. He plays Pedro in Shazam. He looks nothing like the Funko Pop whatsoever. Oh. What? So there's the guy's picture and there's the Funko Pop. I don't know. I don't know if I'm not seeing straight, but he plays this character. Is this, I guess, I'm guessing this is not actually a rendition of him. 
but I thought the newest Shazam Pops that just came out were actually were molded to look like the characters, the actors who played them in the movies, I thought. Maybe I'm wrong. I haven't seen the movie yet. But yeah, this guy looks nothing like Pedro, who's Papa, but says he plays Pedro in Shazam. I don't know. No clue about this. Yeah, this, or in my, the pop's damaged too. I will not be keeping this signed pop. I don't even know who this guy is or the character. There's a crease right on the top of this of this Funko Pop. So it is, it's lightly damaged, but not, not too bad. It's like 8.5 out of 10 condition. It's not too bad. So I'm guessing this is not the upgrade. So the upgrade must be the art print then, it looks like, after all. That must be the upgrade. Let's pull out the cheat sheet. Cheat sheet. So we've got the Joven Armand signed Funko Pops. There were upgrades. The upgrades look like were signed in yellow pen with writing. This is just green, so that's not an upgrade. Signed art. Yep, art print. There's a blue one and a red one. The red one's out of 500, so the Godzilla art print is the one up thing I got. And then the pins. You've got three different pins to get out. And I got out the guy who played Freddy Mercury. Or at least he looks like the guy who played Freddy. Ghost in the Shell prop. Oh, that explains it. I've never played that video game or movie or whatever Ghost in the Shell is. I'm drawing a blank. I think it's a video game, right? I don't know. Maybe it's a movie. Or it's anime or something. Never seen it. Never watched it. So that is this July 2019's Pop Culture Box. What's my views on it? Honestly, not too impressed with it. The art print, I think it's probably my favorite thing from the whole box is the art print. It's cool, but it's not worth thirty-five dollars. This this thing, I, I think it's kind of junk, honestly. And the pen, it's okay, nothing special. The Funko Pop, huge letdown. I have no idea who this actor is. I've never heard of him. Maybe you have. Maybe you have. I never have. So to me. This is a huge letdown for a signed Funko Pop for a subscription box. So, what was this worth? I'd say, honestly, this, you'd probably be lucky to sell this thing for 20 bucks. 20 bucks, 25. I'd say these are probably worth no more than 30 bucks combined for everything. I paid 35, so honestly, I do not think this box is worth, even with the signed Funko Pop, this box is worth the $35. I mean, the pop's worth the pop's worth ten. His autograph, honestly, is probably worth no more than ten, fifteen bucks for the autograph. Yeah, so that that box was a letdown. That was a letdown. But we still got the Bam Box Horror Box to go. Still, this one has no autograph Funko Pop, as you can tell. Black paper again. There's nothing in here. Okay. There's literally a pin, a trinket, and looks okay. Let me let me pull this stuff out. First thing we got the monthly pin. That's from uh, Return of the Living Dead Part Three. I can't think of the actual the the name of the character in the movie but she is the zombie girl who gets reanimated that's actually neat then we have a key a metal key i'm thinking this is probably for the video game probably kingdom hearts i bet that's probably what this is for more than likely i don't know for sure i've never played the game but yeah it's just it's a metal key Then I guess we have an art print and an autograph. This box seems, seems like it's, it's missing something. It's like missing something. Here we go with the art print. I'm not sure which way is the correct way yet. Oh. I have no clue what that's from. It's 359 out of 2000, signed by the artist. The back says, the art print is from our fan art collection titled, Shut the Gates. I don't know. Has been hand signed by artist Kim Martin for the BAM Horror Box. Guaranteed to be authentic. So I'm guessing the movie is Shut the Gates? I've never heard of that movie. So I don't know. Here we go. Last item in this box is the autograph 8x10. 
Not sure which way is up. Oh, Poltergeist. Which one signed it though? So we have a eight by 10 of the movie Poltergeist signed by one of these actors or actresses. On the back of the certificates, this eight by 10 has been hand signed by Oliver Robbins who played Robbie. Oh, Robbie is the little boy, okay. In Poltergeist, it was signed during a private signing for the Bam Horbox, guaranteed to be authentic. So that's kind of what he looks like now. It's a pretty small picture. I'm not sure the camera's actually going to zoom in on it or, or not. So the little boy in Poltergeist, what's his name? Oliver Robbins, who played Robbie, signed this. That's neat. Um, I collect autographs. Um, not all autographs, though. I like the movie Poltergeist, so I will be keeping this just because I like the movie. I'm not sure... If he actually did anything after this movie, anything of, you know, of fame or any other big hits, I don't honestly know. So, is that it? Cheat sheet. So, Oliver Robbins signed 8x10. Looks like there's actually different variations to get out. I got that one. The signed art print. Let's see, Kim Martin makes her debut in the horror box this month with one of the best scenes from City of Living Dead. Oh, it's from the movie City of the Living Dead. I don't think I've ever seen it. That's why I didn't know what it was. Fan art pins, and then a Resident Evil prop replica key. Oh, it's Resident Evil, I thought it was Kingdom Hearts. Dark Matter props, Dark Matter props brings us the Raccoon City Police Station keys this month. Oh, it's decent, different. But I really have nothing to do with it though I don't know so wow honestly both these boxes were kind of letdowns this box how much is this thing worth I'd say this prints not worth no more than 20 bucks it might be like 15 to 20 bucks I'll just give it the high range of 20 art print 20 25 five bucks these two things honestly these are probably worth honestly probably about 30 bucks again so I think both of these sub subscription boxes this month did not meet or did not even give us the full value back. If both of these were a big letdown, like the last few months of band box have been, they, they've been good. This, both of these were just kind of just eh, kind of letdowns. I don't know. What do you feel? What are your thoughts? What, what, what would you feel like if you spent 70 bucks in these two boxes and this is what you got out for $70? Like me, I'm just kind of like, eh, I wish I had my $70 back, honestly. Like, I'd rather give him these two boxes back and give me my money back. That's kind of how I feel. So, anyway. But I'll, I'll get him again next month. Because next month could be fantastic month for Bambox. We'll find out. I'll see you next time. I'm out. <laughs>